hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new hey so today i went to sephora to pick up my birthday gift and i also made another purchase so i've been seeing a lot of reviews on the laura mercier translucent powder the new medium deep shade and i was just walking by and it was just looking at me so i just like kind of picked it up and kind of bought it so here i am doing this review all right so this is what it looks like so it's basically like the original one but this one is made for us brown girls <laughs> so this is actually my first translucent powder that i'm trying actually no let me not say first because i have purchased some in the past from the drugstore but it didn't go well um i'm not even gonna get into that but yeah so ever since that, i have not even bothered to bake my highlight or anything like that because one, I don't know how to use a beauty blender. Every time I dampen it and it just doesn't expand, it just doesn't work for me. The other one made my face a little ashy when I used it. Um, what else? I just don't have time to be sitting there and waiting for my face to bake, so I just don't do it. But I've been seeing a lot of good reviews about this Laura Mercier powder, so I decided why not give it a try? This is actually going to be my first translucent powder that I'm going to buy. So why not invest in this one and see how it goes. So so I'm just going to be doing this review um, side by side with my MAC Skin Finish Powder. This powder I would use if I wanted to set my highlight underneath my eyes. This is what it looks like. Um, so I'll just use my powder. I'll just use my brush actually and just like set it on top of my concealer under my eyes. I'm gonna put the Laura Mercier translucent powder on this side and I'm gonna use my MAC skin finish powder on this side and I'm just gonna compare what I would do on a regular basis to this new translucent powder and I'll do a flash test and everything so you guys can see how it holds up on both ends. So let's get straight into the video. If you have not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. So I also stopped by Ulta and I got these, um, what are these called? These like makeup sponges, I guess. I'm going to be using this instead of a beauty blender to apply the powder on my face because once again, I don't know how to use a beauty blender. Like, all right, so right now I just have my foundation on my face, um, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the color Fawn. And so I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna highlight with this. Ooh, that looks like a lot. And then after highlighting, I'm gonna Put the translucent powder to bake it and to set it and bake it. Okay, so this is my highlight. All right, so here comes the fun part. I'm gonna take the powder and this kind of loosen it up. And then I'm gonna take this, the sponge now and just dab it on my face. Whoa. Whoa. This looks really orange on me. This is what Donnie uses. <laughs> no shade though. I hope I'm doing this right. This looks a lot like my regular powder that I use 
but it's a bit it seems like it's a bit dark actually no it's, it looks like the same color Okay, so this is how it's looking. What do you guys think? I'm gonna take my, hmm, which one should I use now? Should I use my, okay, no. So now I'm gonna take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the color Dark Deepest. And this is what it looks like okay so I'm gonna use it on this side I'm using this powder because it's much lighter than my regular um, studio fix powder that I would use for kind of like a full cover this one is a little bit translucent so I'm gonna use this on this side And I'm using my brush because this is what I use on a regular basis. Okay, now I'm just going to brush off the rest of this setting powder. All right, so here's how the two compare. This is the Laura Mercier, and this is my regular MAC skin finish that I would use like on any day that I wanna kinda set the highlight under my eyes. So what do you guys think? I think the MAC one is a bit more, like it says, skin finish. And this one is very like out there and a little bit more matte than this one is. So I can see myself using both for different occasions. I don't have to use just one thing all the time. I can switch it up. If I want to go matte, then I'd use this. And if I want to just stick to my normal thing, then I'd use this. So now I'm just going to finish up by contouring and doing a little highlighting. So to contour, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And I usually use Carib and uh, Rich Earth, the two darkest shades. I like Carib because it has like a reddish tint to it and I think it's so pretty. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly how I would contour. And to highlight, I haven't really been filling my regular highlighter, so I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Smoky Palette, and I'm going to use the shimmery colors to highlight with because it's not every day that you have to use your straight highlighting palette, you know? Sometimes you can use eyeshadow and it's fine, so that's what I'm going to do. You ready? And I've been, I've really been liking like the silver pinkish tone highlighters for some reason lately. I don't know, man. Tell me when to stop. So I basically use all one, two, three, four, all five of these colors basically. I will definitely be using this Laura Mercier translucent powder because I think it works well on my complexion. It's very similar to what I would use on a regular basis. Besides the fact that it's a little bit more matte, so if I wanted a more matte finish, then I would definitely reach for this translucent powder. So now, time for the flash test. Alright, so this is kind of like a little in-your-face close-up. Get all up in my pores right here. So I think I'm actually going to start off with the flash with the light on, and then I'm going to turn the light off and do the flash as well so you guys can really see how this setting powder holds up okay so either way my makeup does not give any flashback so i will definitely be using more of this laura mercier powder 
since this is my first translucent powder I am buying um, I really love the results that I got from this I know it's not gonna like super highlight underneath my eyes and I think that's fine because I don't like it being too excessive so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you think about this powder and if you are of a deeper complexion will you be purchasing this or if you have the original powder will you continue to be using that or will you give this one a try let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye